Hey, it's me, Laura, the creator of this podcast. Before the episode begins, I just wanted to thank our patrons. If you're interested in financially supporting us and getting a patron shout out as well as bonus content, make sure to check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash auroraeverlasting. Now, let's get to the episode. Aurora Everlasting August 9, 2552, 1314. I can't believe you haven't read it. It was a classic when you were still on Earth. Now it's a relic. But it's so good. I'm not disputing that. I... Okay, I think we're far enough away from the facility. Have you figured out a way yet? Eliza? <sighs> no. Are you even looking? Eliza? What? I can't say I agree with you. You did a week ago. So what if Porus lies? Every remotely important organization has secrets. Not of this caliber. Of course. Just because you weren't in on it, you... You think that's why? Also, since I'm straight up your little test subject number one, I think I deserve some explanations. All I've been told is, go into our fancy machine and this will help us get back your friends. How? Why? None of that. Just do it. I'm not a lab rat. I want to know what's going on. You'll get to know. In time, Reed will explain... When is that, huh? When I'm too exhausted to move? To speak? When I'm dead? Don't say that. You said you were doing your best so would jump less. What happened to that? Because I've been doing more sessions than ever. I'm working on it. We just need results. No matter what that means for me. I didn't say that. Can't you see that this is wrong? With the amount of secrets Porus is keeping right under the surface, don't you think there are even bigger ones waiting once you dig deeper? That's speculation. I know you don't agree with what they are doing, Eliza. At least with what you know they are doing. How would you know that? You've known me for a month. I've done this my entire life. But you know what Porus does is wrong. So what if I do? They give my family a place to sleep. They've kept this facility running peacefully. They've gotten so much done in the time you've been gone. And is that worth it? I'm assuming your machine didn't build itself, didn't test itself. How many people went in there before me? How many didn't come back out? How do you know that? I'm not dumb, Eliza. I came here thinking you might help me, but I'm not half as naive as you think I am. You eavesdropped. Of course. Do you think I would trust you blindly? You know what you're doing is wrong, Eliza. Why do you keep doing it? I don't have a choice. What else can I do? Where else can I go? There's nothing out there. What? Do you think I would be here if the rest of the world was still intact? This is the only choice I have. You wouldn't call it a choice if it didn't have any other options. And if I helped you get out of here, what happens then? We found my crew. How? I will tell you when we're out. So I'm just supposed to trust you on that? Well, I'm trusting you to get me out of here, right? I'll help you. I just need to figure out the details. We can talk it over tomorrow, all right? All right. I will start throwing things in a hot minute. Can everything just stop happening for a second? How hard is that? I just need a couple of moments to process. A bit of time for thinking, maybe even a damn hour for some sleep. So if everything could just stop for a second. Okay? Yes? Is that not okay? I will assume that's not okay because I will simply not accept any other answer. That clear? Fantastic. I'm confused. I'm exhausted. If it could turn my brain off, I would. (sighs) 
Okay. Okay, I'm done. Time to get to work. Which work? Hey! Hey! Are you listening? Are you hearing me? I'm done with this. I'm going to leave and... No, this is absolutely not happening. Oh, this is not what I expected, is that... Oh, well... Uh, yeah, let's go inside, I guess. Whatever this is about, then. August 10, 2552, 1403. When... Stop talking about it. I just mean... Stop. Not here. <sighs> sure. We're gonna be late again. We're already late. She'll be suspicious. I'll take the blame. What? Might as well. You both know she's already suspicious of me. We should stop talking about this. I hope you know that if you're lying to me, you'll be punished accordingly. Yes, madam, but I saw both of them clearly. And I heard. Sorry we're late, I... Did something happen? No. <clears throat> um, Jacobs, you're dismissed. Yes, ma'am. Why was he here then? A um, dispute between two guards. Oh, what about? It's complicated. We can get into it later. Are you ready, Dr. Tournier? Um, yes. Good, then let's go. I hope you two had a nice walk. Yes, lovely weather today. Hmm, I see you're making a habit of it. Uh, I guess it's a healthy hobby. Indeed, you can get in, Doctor. Are you ready? Sure. Eliza? All set, they should be gone any minute. Good. Now, what the hell do you think you're doing? Hey, what's going on? Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, a soft landing is overrated anyways. I could just take a nap. Just keep laying down and sleep. This isn't the most comfortable place I could take a nap at, but... I've been here before, right? Yeah. This is where I met Anna that one time. Wild. Sure, we'll love to see her again sometime. I miss her, and Margot, and Evelyn, and Beatrice, and Diego, and, 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 there's a lot to miss these days. Help. Help. Please. Who are you? Help. Why? Hello? Why? Who are you? Why? Are when you okay? Do you need help? You can't help. What? You can't help. Why? What happened? You're all the same. You don't help. Maybe I can help you. What? I should be back at Porus. Why? Wait. Something is off here. There's... This is the first time, right? The first time we're meeting. What? Leo! This isn't exactly the kind of fun reminiscing I was thinking it would be. I'm... I'm not going into farm station. For obvious reasons, but everything else it just seems so cold here if there isn't a trace of them left. <sighs> Nothing's going to change if I go into our room. I wish... I really wish it would. I wish... 
I could go in there and see her, but <laughs> yeah, that's not likely. Worse this way. It's worse than, a, than it looks like we. It's worse that it looks like we just got up. It's worse that I want to tell her I'm sorry I forgot to make the bed. It's worse than. It's worse. If, if we could come back here at least, but what will we do? If I find her. If I find any of them, where would we even go? This isn't our home. It never was, but we don't even have a home anymore. Earth won't be the same after 200 years. There... There... Nothing is the same. We're relics of a time that's history now. So even if we all find each other again, where would we go? It wouldn't matter, right? We we could figure it out together. It's not all on me to have a plan. But I should make one. I What do I know? Evelyn is alive, but not doing great according to Leo, who is at some porous facility on Earth at some point in time. No idea where Margot is. I'll try to get to Leo. I have an approximate location and I just need a way to get there. <sighs> Here goes nothing. Hey! Hey! Take me to Leo! I know you can do that! Let's go! Right now! Hey! Can you hear me, you stupid mother- August 10, 2552, 14.07 Now, what the hell do you think you're doing? What? You and Leo? The... the walks, I... I know, you promised to get them out of the facility. Yes. Why would you do that, Eliza? You don't need to actively lie to them anymore. We have our recording. Yes, I... So, why would you say that you two could leave together? That you have doubts about Porus? I... Don't you think we're doing something wrong? It's I, I know we th we've kept secrets, but don't you think the higher ups keep secrets from us? Every company has secrets. You're the head of one of their most renowned facilities. They shouldn't keep secrets from you. They don't. How would you know that? Oh. You're keeping secrets from me. You don't need to know everything. What about what I deserve to know? What do you deserve? You are currently in the process of betraying me. Just tell me what exactly you think you deserve. How could I do anything else when you don't tell me anything? I do everything for you. Everything you ask for and everything you don't ask for. And all I get in return is- Stop. You seriously want to leave with Leo Tonyi? For what? You know what we're doing isn't right. What about the things they're doing? They... No better. The things they did. Do you think Leo Tenier is one of the good ones? They lied. They did what they had to do to get on that mission. Just because they don't know everything doesn't mean they didn't know anything. Human test subjects aren't an idea we had. It's been porous as practice for 300 years. You think Leo didn't know about that? You think they would care if they weren't the subject? Leo wouldn't. Stop it. Eliza, really. When Leo joined Porus, it already was the way it is today. And they knew it, just like you do now. And I can make better choices. I this can... is your better choice? Do you know what would have happened if the Council found out about your plan before I did? You'd be dead already. So why am I not? I'm giving you a chance. To what? Stand by and watch as we all go deeper and deeper into this hole? I know we've done horrible things. But that doesn't mean we should keep doing them. It won't make anything better. It won't make anything worth it. 
Your entire moral code is hinging on getting results. But have you ever thought we might never get those? That we will sacrifice everything and everyone we can and we'll never get the answers we want? Or we do. We figure out time travel and teleportation against all odds. And then we get to look back and ask ourselves, was this worth it? Ten lives, a hundred lives, a thousand! Whatever it takes. Why? What's the use? We'll change the world. But if you ignore the cost of our progress, it won't be changed for the better. You say this like you aren't a part of it. I don't want to be! But you did. You fought for this. You chose this. You let others pay the price. How many people have you sacrificed for our cause? 167. Their lives mean nothing if you take away our only chance at success. Just because- You're wrong. What? Their lives mean nothing if we just keep killing people without realizing it's wrong. You said you were always gonna be with me, Eliza. No matter what. You promised. I'm sorry. You're fired then. Jacobs? What are you going to do? You'll see. Ma'am? Please remove her from facility grounds. If she resists, terminate her. If she tries to come back, kill her on sight. I shouldn't have expected you to understand. You've always been cruel. Jacobs, you heard me? Yes, ma'am. Follow me, please. Don't say please. It makes it sound like I have a choice. What now? <clears throat> I'm uh, sorry to interrupt, ma'am, but you said to alert you at once if we found another one. August 10, 2552, 1407. Oh no. No, no, no. Orson, no, hey. I. Stop right there. What? You're kidding. Stop. Now. Ugh, sure, buddy. Oh, wait. You can just go ahead and shoot me because what else would make this day any worse? What? Stop it. Blah, blah. Stop it. Keep your hands up. Shut up. Oh, yeah. Go right ahead and don't have anywhere to be. Uh, ah. Oh. Ah, that was uncomfortable. Oh, uh, no. Sorry, dude. I didn't mean. Don't be sorry. That guy wasn't. Margo! You're not dead either. Yay. W where are we? Pretty sure we're still at the poorest facility. It worked. It for real worked. What worked? Wait, no, tell me later. We should leave right now before anyone else finds us here. That's the priority. Okay, okay, where are we going? I know a place. Aurora Everlasting returns with its next episode on July 25 at 4 p.m. Central European Summertime. It was created by Laura Reicher and protected under Creative Commons 4.0 International License. This episode was produced by Elena Hirzerbacher. It was written and directed by Laura Reicher. The episode was edited by Valentin Sosani and the sound design was done by Laura Reicher. The script was edited by Sophie Erhardt. This episode featured Mona Reicher as Eliza, Marie-Christine Heiling as Anna Kästner, Victoria Krenn as Dr. Reed, Jasmin Lachbaumer as Leo Ternier, Leonie Ebenberger as Aiden, Vivi as Guard Ness, Kai as Guard Jacobs and Benny MacDonald as Guard Cedar, as well as Sophie Erhardt as Margaret Nielsen and as the disembodied voice. If you want to help us out or show your support, tell a friend about this podcast. Or, if you're feeling really crazy today, you can even tell two friends. You could also review a podcast wherever you like. The best way for us to gain new listeners is with your help, because, let's be honest, our marketing budget is non-existent. If you're interested in bloopers, extra content, or you just want to financially support the podcast, make sure to subscribe to our Patreon at patreon.com slash auroraeverlasting. And for some background infos, feel free to check out our social media. We are at Aurora underscore Everlast on Twitter and at Aurora underscore Everlasting underscore podcast on Instagram. Thank you for listening and find us on the podcasting app of your choice for the next episode. <laughs>